right guys we're back here we got chat gpt versus episode i think 13 now uh dude last episode great things with this mouse hold and let's not forget about the star of the show whale lord but uh we're gonna take it back to the roots i feel like chat gpt doesn't have as much of a database as it says it does uh, especially after that iron jugulus thing it's just i'm not fully sold that it knows everything of what's going on pokemon wise so we're going to go back and we're going to just have it pick a number from 1 to 125. That'll include all the Pokemon, including Petrarunt. Uh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, there we get. Uh, yes, there we go. Okay, so the number it picked is 267. So going over to my trusty website here with uh, Sarah B, we got to find 627, not the other number that I said. The 627 is Unova. That actually pans out quite well. The 627 is Rufflet. We're not going to do Rufflet. We're actually going to go over to Braviary. And this is going to be in, you know, pairing along with one of the comments that I got earlier, which is a guy who wanted me to do a uh, Pokey MMO uh, style build and everything. Uh, Pokey MMO. Let me see if I. Uh, that's how you spell it. Pokey MMO is kind of like an MMO thing that's free to play download and everything, not sponsored, but you know, he, he really wanted something that went along with that. So along those lines is, I'm just gonna go with the traditional Braviary because this is, I believe in gen five under Unova, yes. So he should be able to have a Braviary. So let's go ahead with a standard regular Braviary and see what we can get. So let's go ahead, put in Braviary, who apparently is in the U. Uh, with Kenai, Sheer Force, Defiant. Both Defiant and Sheer Force are great. Uh, we'll see what works better out here at the moment. I'm immediately thinking Scarf or Banded. Uh, he's got a ton of physical attack. Fairly decent speed, so it's kind of why I'm leaning a little bit more Banded than normal. Um, but we're looking for normal and flying moves. Immediately, I'm thinking Brave Bird or I'm thinking Dual Wing Beat, one of the two. Uh, we'll stick with Brave Bird, we'll do Double Edge, we'll do maybe CC. CC's not a bad idea here. Um, Home Claws could be good. Uh, if we want to go with the Sheer Forced, uh, secondary effects have higher power, which would mean we're looking at things like possibly Body Slam over Double Edge. Uh, what would we take instead of Dual Wing Beat? Uh, 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 something over Dual Wing Beat maybe... Is there even any good flying moves that don't have? I mean, Hurricane, technically. Um, flying move, flying move. I really don't see one, which kind of makes me want to lean towards Defiant and getting a... going Banded. I'm thinking going Defan uh, Defiant with Band, Brave Bird, Double Edge. We'll do... Man, since we're banded, it makes it a little bit more weird. Uh, we can go with Rock Slide, but I'm not sure how much that actually helps. Because Defiant will essentially give you uh, Swords Dance if you can actually, you know, uh, predict into it and get it. Um, I think U-Turn's fair here. U-Turn's a good move, uh, especially when being locked into ban. Facade could be nice if you want to try and avoid some specific things. And Headbutt's not a bad idea either. Um, man, there's, is there not a good flying move other than Air Slash that actually works? I mean, we could take Rock Head or Iron Head. Uh, Banded Iron Head could be really good here. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm not even signed in. What is this nonsense? There we go. Yeah, go ahead. Sign in. Um, I want to see what a Banded... Uh, Iron Head does here with this. So let's go import export. We'll copy this. We'll bring it over here. Import. Yes. Now, one of the things that I usually don't do, uh, not on camera, at least that you guys typically see, is I do do a lot of calcs to see how viable the Pokemon is, like loosely into certain things. And that's something I haven't done at least on the video for you guys so let's go ahead and see what we got so this braviary 
Uh, let me go to smog on real quick. I'm going to ignore all the moves. You guys can see all that later. It's in the ZU format. So I want to see what other Pokemon are in ZU typically. Uh, ZU tier. So when it comes to... Okay, hold on. This is... There's too much going on over there. It's actually distracting me. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Braviary ZU. Um, okay, so we got a lot of good Pokemon in here. Uh, regular Obama Snow could be threatening. Iron Head should be able to one-shot that thing, hilariously enough. Uh, let's do Alcreamy. So Alcreamy can be a fairly good Pokemon in ZU. So ALC. We'll do a ZU Combined. Uh, Iron Head does 65 to 77 with it. But that's even less than Brave Bird and Double Edge, which makes me feel like Iron Head's probably not going to be the build that we want to go with here. Uh, pu <laughs> purely because it feels like Brave Bird and Double Edge is just that much stronger of a move. Um, we don't want Roost. Let's do a couple more Pokemon just to see what's our other options here. Uh, obviously, the Avalug here being four times a week, that's useless to me. Uh, what are some other threats here? Appleton. I feel like Double Edge is probably too good there. Um, Bumberti or no? Ooh, you know, Calyrex could be threatening here. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to pause for a second, and I want to look for something in particular that I haven't really researched before. All right, so we're coming back over here, and I just did some, a lot of looking, at least usage-wise, to see what we're working with here. And overall, with, you know, ZU obviously not being used, there's not much usage tracking of this Pokemon through the tier and everything. So overall, though, with looking, we're looking at Brave Bird Double Edge essentially just being some of the best moves that you can use in general. So let's go ahead, change this over to Close Combat instead of Iron Head. It feels like overall it's not going to matter too, too much. Uh, as far as like what we're looking at, so let's go here. We'll put in close combat. We'll just add it to our list of things we can do here. So obviously against Alcreamy, like we're not looking at one-shotting this Pokemon in any way currently. Uh, if we go Adamant Nature possibly, uh, only up to 94, the high roll, that's not great. Now, if we do end up going there and getting like a Defiant boost, on the other hand, that puts us at a plus two. We're easily one-shotting that thing with pretty much anything we got going on um let's see um if we go does this let me no I, I didn't think it would uh what other pokemon we got rocking in the zu tier is there anything like actually threatening overall i want to say no because i mean like what's the other pokemon like appleton appleton is actually a very scary pokemon uh it's very 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 strong uh, especially spadef um, uh, man, what do you think gets more usage? Spadef, Specs, or Iron Defense? I'd probably say uh, Spadef or Specs. Uh, Spadef, go back to minus one. We'll go back to Jolly. This is typically what we had going on. So, Brave Bird's definitely Okoing. Appleton, who Spadef. What about. Iron Defense, which is Fizz Def. Or no, it's still, it's still Spadef based, but with Iron Defense. We'll put him at, like, uh, we'll say plus two. With a single Iron Defense. He lives a Brave Bird with a single Iron Defense. That's actually still not horrible, though. Because it does almost Oko, especially if you can, like, switch in and knock it out. That's not bad. Uh, if this Manteras, you're just kind of, you know, you can take him out with a CC if you can predict that. Uh, we'll do one more check with the Appleton before we call this a video, for sure. Uh, let's check out the Specs version. What's the Specs version? Uh, Specs version's just dying. <laughs> uh, simple as put is that, like, Raybird, one shot. CC, like, two shot. Double edge, pretty decent chance of one shotting. I mean, we're talking a 60, almost 63% chance to Oko. Yeah, we'll take those odds easily, dude. Especially 93 to 110. Drop some, uh, drop some kind of, like, hazards on the field and you're good you're good to go so yeah there's the braviary 
and we're rocking band cc pretty much all the fun stuff i want to check what uh this guy uses here in the zu format uh boots okay to avoid rocks not bad cc brave bird we got those two uh superpower i like cc more cc just feels better to me because the attack drop from superpower can like force you to not get a one shot anymore kind of a thing we didn't choose a terror type i did just see that uh although i am very inclined to go straight up terra flying either terra flying or terra no Ooh, no 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 we'll do terra fighting yeah terra fighting with this could be like really good gets you a boosted cc um you're already getting stabbed from brave bird double edge just just gives you a third version to get stabbed plus not being able to be taken out by rock types or anything like that i like that as well as it gets you out of the other silly stuff of like you know you're already a normal type if people find out that you're a cc like coming back game two or whatnot they could try to predict that you're gonna go to terra fighting and try and use a ghost move on you and allows you not to you know misplay them and get them with the normal but uh, what else we got going on here? Yeah, bulk up because you're not fucked through the band. Uh, careful jolly nature so you can outspeed some things. That's not bad either. You're running bulky possibly. Right here with the HP spadef. Then you're just hoping for no attacks. Uh, attack speed, which I believe is what... Nope. Uh, buh, 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 this one. I believe this is also attack speed right there. So pretty good. Uh, and roost. Yeah, if you're not running band or anything, if you're running like boots, bulk up. Bulk up roost kind of keeps you alive, but you don't really have any normal move here if you really want to go for like a strong normal stab. Um, so overall, not too, too bad. What's the NU version of this? Uh, NU version, terrifying CC, all pretty much the same thing. You're running the same of what we have over here, except this one's banded and just doing more damage overall. This one's not bad although i believe this braviary would very quickly get knocked out by this one uh can we just test that theory let's bring that over here into the calc import yes um braviary so i'm very curious about oh, i just didn't need to do that um hold on something here looks slightly off for me and i'm not sure what it is is it just me? Like, these numbers just completely swap themselves around. Anyways, so here's the Bandit Braviary that we just made with the CC U-Turn, all this fun storm, uh, this fun stuff. We'll go to Terra Fighting right there. So, you know, same one. This is my Braviary versus what the typical ZU is, or NU is, which is actually a tier up of what we got going on. Um, and this Braviary coming straight out gets O-Code right away by this braviary uh the banded braviary by the way very strong here uh if we terra fighting on the other hand we're okoing with cc and any of our other moves but it can oko us as well uh if we look at the speed tier it's the same so we're running through a speed tie which could potentially be very bad for us uh getting rocks up on either end here we go we'll put rocks up on both ends uh they still don't oko you uh, but you still guaranteed Oko them. Very good. Uh, why are there spikes up on the field? Get the spikes out of here. Um, and if they, you know, Terra Dark, you're one-shotting them with CC. If they Terra, what was the other one? Terra Ground, I believe it was. Uh, where? Turn off the export. There we go. Uh, if they Terra Ground, you are still going to be able to Oko them with double edge just guaranteed they're just not going to be able to do anything against you especially you know boom terra ground uh that doesn't do anything for them and if they terra what was it the other man i cannot navigate this thing if they terra fighting you're gonna knock them out with brave bird so pretty much i like my more i think it's going to be stronger i think it's just overall better than the bulk up one and again nu is a tier up from zu and you're gonna win that so there you go uh, subscribe if you guys like it. Like the video if you like it and you want to see some more of this kind of content with the Chan GPT nonsense as well as the competitive building. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more. And I've been posting daily shorts of Pokidoku. That's also a super really fun thing. I hope you guys enjoy all of the stuff. Drop a comment down below if you want to see some more stuff and specifically what you want to see like this guy's version of a Poke MMO. He can figure it out from there. 
as well as I haven't played Pokemon MMO, so this is like the best I could do. It's a Gen 5 Pokemon with Gen 9 moves. These aren't even Gen 9 moves. This build is usable in Gen 9, and it's still pretty much like a Gen 5 bird. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.